gotta do my thing tonight. What's good, y'all? I hope everybody's doing good. As y'all can see, bro, I uploaded a wig update yesterday. Listen, man, I know they don't look like wicks. <laughs> Hey, y'all got to chill, bro. I got people harassing me. I know it's all in good. Uh, it's all a lot of all out of love and good faith. But yeah, man, y'all got to chill, bro. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. All right, I'm going to get my shit redone. Eventually, I don't know when. I don't have no... I got to get some new wipers. Um, I ain't got no set, you know what I'm saying? No set date. Um. But my shit gonna get <laughs> And I love this shit, man. I love it because at the end of the day, I know these people care about me, bro. I know they care about me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know seeing my hair all disoriented, you know, unmanicured. I know people look I know people, you know, they get beside themselves, man. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Like, but somebody left a, a very important comment, man, on one of my videos. I want to address it. They were saying they wanted to get, I believe it was Wix or Dreads, can't remember, but they say their family's going to trip. Listen, to me, bro, I don't think we give uh, parents enough credit on... Um, and I don't know the whole living situation. I know my parents ain't fucking perfect. But I think sometimes it's just a conversation, man, that just, you know, got to be had, bro. You know, and and I'm speaking from experience because I remember cutting my hair off at 14. I remember my father taking me to the motherfucking barber shop. I was happy. Um, they let me live that experience on my own. Like I said, it was just a conversation that, you know, had to be had. And, you know, when I told him I wanted to cut my hair, man, I flat out told him I don't want my hair no more. I want to do something different. You know, I'm, I'm changing. I'm evolving to this to this young, uh, young adult. You know what I'm saying? This young female. My head is my crown, and I'm going to wear it as such. And um, I really thought my father was going to trip, bro. I really thought if anybody was going to trip, it was going to be my father, bro. Because he's real military, very strict. Uh, you know, to this day, man, my father has never changed. He's very, you know, stuck in his ways, very stubborn. Um, so, yeah, if anybody was going to trip, bro, 100% I thought it was going to be him. But I can say, honestly, bro, uh, deep down, I feel as if I was to get freeform dreads and just kind of let my hair just do whatever, I do think that him especially he might have been asking me questions you know what i'm saying like are you depressed are you going through something is it something you want to talk to me about um you know and i think those questions would have came if i went free form because what i think a lot of us are failing to connect with is the fact that for generations bro these people have set these uh eurocentric standards that are unrealistic for black people and and that's that trauma has been passed down from generation to generation to generation so then you get you know people like me people like you people that want to be expressive you know in the way that they dress and how they wear their hair and like i said this shit has been passed down for so many generations dog so when it comes to to my parents and then it comes to me there's like no understanding because for so long they've only known it one way you get what i mean and I, that's why i say bro i don't think we give parents a lot of credit um i know i didn't give my parents a lot of credit you know sitting them down and talking to them about certain things and thankfully i did but yeah i think if you set them down and you know told them what you was trying to do I honestly think it'll be a little more understanding on their part because they'll see like okay you're you're mature enough to make these type of decisions you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so um that's my advice to you man i would sit my parents down and just talk to them bro and all parents ain't gonna be super understanding you know it's some it's some it's some fucked up parents out there i hope that's not your situation i hope that's not anybody's situation um 
but yeah man they set these these unrealistic standards for us bro and that's something that's just been ingrained and embedded in our in our culture bro not even in our culture bro but just in the minds of of black people bro and that shit like i said that shit get passed down from generation to generation to generation and then you get us and it's like like what the fuck bro like what's the problem with me going free for him like i said i know for a fact my father probably would have lost his damn mind because you know he comes from a generation to where everything was clean cut rarely anybody had free form locks or dreads period in my dad's you know where he was from how he grew up and shit so I know he probably would have been like, like, where did I go wrong as a parent? He's more of a free spirit. My mom don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mama say, do whatever make you happy. So I know for a fact my mama went a trip, but, you know, my dad coming from that military background too, man. My grandfather was in the military. My father was in the military. I believe my great-grandfather was in the military. So, you know, it's that aspect of, you know, everything is in order, in line, nothing out of place and then like i said some standards man that they set for us are unrealistic you know but when that's all you know unfortunately you you know you try to pass that shit down to your kids and i think because they are indirectly affected by our decisions especially to go free form because i know in my family bro let me have to win free form bro that shit would have been the talk of like the family events until people said okay she literally is not gonna fucking cut her hair so we just gonna whatever i don't know what she gonna throw you know but it must be something she must be depressed you know how bro you know how we get um and i know that shit just would have been the talk of everything bro so and that's not a reason why i didn't go free form i wasn't even like thinking in the realm or even going free form anything at that time but i know that that shit just my parents would have been indirectly affected because people coming to them well what well what what brett going go and through why why she didn't let herself go she calm her damn hair you know just y'all know how we do man so i don't know bro just sit down and talk to them you know at the end of the day bro you got to do what make you happy and you got to be confident and comfortable in the decisions that you make in life period it don't just boil down to your hair but you just got to make sure you doing it for you you know what i'm saying don't live by other people's standards uh your parents they will get over it trust me they always do um you just got to find your freedom man find your freedom i hope we all find our freedom and liberation with whatever we trying to accomplish um but like i said it's just sitting down talking to them you know i know they gonna have some things to say probably on why they don't think you should get free form address or whatever you're trying to do but you just gotta let them know man this is a decision that you want to make you thought about it there's something you want to do you understand what come with it um i think they'll i think they'll understand man i think they will like i said my parents ain't know what they're perfect bro and sometimes you just gotta sit them motherfucker down and say listen this is what i'm gonna do okay now you give your opinion but that don't mean i'm gonna listen okay i'm gonna do what the fuck i want to do but i just want to know what you thought i just want to bring it to the table let y'all know what the fuck i'm gonna do they respect that shit man so that's my advice man to anybody it ain't just to this person it's to anybody bro set your parents down um and Tell them what it is, man. You know, I think parents, like I said, bro, I don't think we give them enough credit. And I don't think they give us enough credit either, you know, to make decisions. You know, because I think at the end of the day, it boils down to them really wanting to protect us from society, which, I mean, we got to live in this shit anyways. Um, but I think it really comes down to them wanting to see the best of us, man. And sometimes, unfortunately, bro, our hair has a huge impact on a lot of shit bro our appearance has a huge impact on a lot of shit bro so i think that's what really deters a lot of parents from allowing their kids to make those type of decisions when it comes to their appearance you know and that's from piercings to tattoos to fucking hair to whatever man you know so that's my advice